Hi guys, welcome to The Pulse. This is our sixth episode. Yeah, I said sixth. We have some great April Fool shenanigans and some awesome student produced stories. Let's check it out. So as you guys know, it's April, which means it's also April Fools and Kelsey takes it way too serious. Guess what, Lex? She literally did a prank the other day that made me late to work. I don't care! I heard Kelsey switch someone's shampoo. I don't know who it was though. A prank party? What's going on? Kelsey, sit down. We have to talk. What's going on? Kelsey, you're taking this April Fool's thing way too seriously. April Fool's is only on April 1st. You changed my shampoo with hair dye. How did you even get in my house? Kelsey, you broke my brand new phone. I had the iPhone 8XYZ. You made me late to work and I got fired because of you. Kelsey, you knocked my books out of my hand. That's not even a prank, that's just mean. You know how much I love to read. I didn't even do anything to you guys. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm sorry, is this not the how to be a better host GMBA workshop? Listen guys, I am so sorry for all the pranks that I played. I really hope all of you can forgive me. I love all of you. April Fools! <laughs> First-year assistant track coach Mookie Salam has had plenty of national success in the sport of track and field. He was a five-time Big 12 champion, NCAA 200-meter indoor champion, NCAA runner-up in the 100-meter, and was the 79th person in history to break the 10-second barrier in the 100-meter. Salam was also a 2013 silver medalist in the 4x1 with the U.S. team in the 2013 World Championships. I was always fast when I was little. Uh, I ended up losing my dad when I was four years old, and that ended up finding out that he ran track the 200 and 400 at Grambling State. And so it's something that made me feel close to him was getting in track. Um, I look forward to just showing these kids that we are the ones that put limits on ourselves, and if we get outside of that mindset that we could push our bodies to limits that we never thought we could push ourselves to. And I would love to see us sweep uh, state with the girls and the guys, which we got a good chance of doing. I think they do listen a lot more, just knowing my background in track, going through it always, you know, in their eyes that, hey, I went through this as well. If you want to compete in this sport, you got to go through this stuff. You got to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And me having the accolades that I do have, it just, it gives me, them a little bit more respect for myself because they're now, I'm not out there just talking that I'm actually, well, I already walked it already. And it's just the fact that I tell my kids all the time, our sport is 90% confidence, 10%, you know, talent because everybody's fast when you get to the state and conference and regionals because they have to hit certain marks to get there. So everybody's fast. It's just whoever is going to be leaving themselves that much more and trust the process and their training and the rest to take care of itself. I really think that we could, you know, bring a legacy here. Man, all the coaching staff along with myself all did competitive track and college. So just having that, you know, tear with us, I think everybody else will be able to feed into that and, you know, want to come out and just help us start a legacy here. Everybody 
loves Easter egg hunting, even turkeys. Let's go. Oh my gosh, eggs. Let's follow them. By golly, there's more. My eggs. They're not even real. Welcome to this 72 second spotlight. Enjoy. My name is Xander Fry. I, uh, I shred for a living. I live by the board, die by the board. Do you do any tricks? I can do a half pipe, quarter pipe, full pipe, but uh, I like doing ollies the most. Could you tell me what you do to perform an ollie? Well, what you want to do is get your foot on the board, and then you want to jump. So, could you tell us about your get up for the uh, shred sesh? Well, I was born on a cheese farm, and I've had this jacket ever since I was a kid, and then this belt. I, uh, I actually met Tony Hawk at a skate park one time and we discussed the idea of having a skating video game and it was supposed to be called Xander Fry Pro Skating but he totally copped out and I tried to sue but his lawyers just gave me his belt for compensation. So where's your uh, favorite place to shred? Uh, Keith's dad's lake house. We have some tight kickbacks there. So what are your influences? Babes. Cute babes. Beautiful babes. My name is Xander Fry, and that was my 72 second spotlight. Deuces. Broken Arrow Show Choir's Tiger Rhythm and Tiger Mystique season has just came to an end a couple weeks ago. And next up, we have this awesome video highlighting some of our seniors from this year's amazing group. <laughs> My favorite thing about show choir is that singing and dancing is such an expressive form of art. I feel like I can be really be myself on stage, and it's just a great way to just show off and you know be who you are in front of a lot of people. The effort that we put in is very extreme. You know, we get here at 6:45 a.m. every morning. You know, up until the bell rings for first hour, we're we're dancing, we're we're moving. Getting up that early and rehearsing all day was so worth it. Having all these people I know I look up to and like look back on. Like all these memories, it's worth the world. I just learned that it just it's more than just being talented. And one thing that's been taught for us is that hard work beats it. Something show choir has definitely taught me is a strive for perfection. Because nothing is really picture perfect, but like why even try if you're not going to try to be the best you can be. Show choir has taught me how much it means to be a better role model for people. And I just want to be better for the lower classmen. Mr. Ross had a lot of talks with the seniors. Uh, he really wanted us to like realize how special this group was. He told us to like leave a legacy, something that years from now the group will still remember and will want to be like. They want to look back on 2019 show choir and be like, hey, I want to be that senior class. I have the most fun at comps because that's where I feel like I get the most like the closest to people and like performing for people has it gives you like a good rush that like you just strive to be greater. This year's group was really funny. A lot of jokesters. Uh... A lot of laughing this year instead of just like always serious. I'm definitely going to miss the friendships and the relationships that I've been able to form. It's the most tight-knit school program I've ever been in and it's definitely a family. We'll never have this group again so it was something really special that we got to hold to each other. People that are thinking about it, it's hard work but you'll love it at the end. Um, just make sure you always have a positive mindset. The payoff at the end makes it all worth it. And that's the reason why I don't eat caramel coin anymore. <laughs> well, going on to our live report with Hunter England, what's going on out there, Hunter?
Oh, uh, thanks, guys. Uh, you know, I wish I knew. This is just, it's quite a sight. I, I didn't think I'd live to see something as big as this. It's truly a sight to behold. Why do you think there are so many dances going around, around out there? You know, I think it has to do with the new uh, uh, dancing fever going around. Uh, people are just hearing this music. It's, it's, it's quite interesting. I'm thinking about putting a little boogie in myself. And what's the weather like around there? Do you feel anything in the air? You know what? I'm, I'm feeling some groove in the air. It's, it's definitely interesting. You know, it's quite a funky feeling. Could you tell me when this whole situation took flight? Uh, I don't think I, I, I don't think I could. It's, there's no real uh, good answer as to what's causing this. Well, do you think that we will have new life coming out of this? You know, I think it's going to put a new, uh, a new step into the era of dance. Alrighty, well, thank you for sharing. Goodbye, Hunter. Bye, back to you guys. Thank you so much, Hunter, for that wonderful report. Now, after the break, we will be discussing how many things can you wrap a burrito with? Do you know what uh, you are doing? You know what it is? You know you in front of? Am I in, like, in front of like a, a, a disco? No, you're in front of birds that are doing mating dances. <laughs> Birds doing mating dances. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this episode. You guys did so great. Thank you, Kelsey. April Fools. <laughs>